Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, gonna be doing another fantasy draft, and today, I'm gonna be doing something that I have not done yet in NHL 22. I have done it in NHL 20, and I have done it in NHL 21, but 22, we haven't quite done it, so I'm gonna be doing that. Just updated the rosters recently as well, so I am gonna randomize the team that we're gonna be using to draft, and it's gonna be the... Boom! Columbus Blue Jackets, okay. Nice, so let's continue, and owner mode off, CPUs can trade, player morale will turn it off, nope, don't even think about it, and we want fantasy draft on, uh, did I say off, I think I said, I'm all over the place right now, anyway, CPU trades can, yep, that's okay, yep, yep, no, I think we're good, I think we're good, so let's continue, and find out what draft pick we get, I'm gonna say we get number 12, 12 is my pick, Injuries are off. Advanced settings. What should we do here? It's gonna be something. Uh, Blockbuster trade alert. Sure, let me know. Stars only for these two, though. Let me know if a coachy gets fired. Just to see. That way, it's just, you know, just salt in the wound for the team that's doing bad. They fire their coach, and then we all get to be like, haha. Okay. Pick number seven. Here we go. Kale McCarr, 92 overall. Well deserved. He is absolutely insane. Okay. Let's do this thing. Who shall I take? It's the real question here. Roman Yossi. What a mad lad. Rantanen. Pasta. He'd be a good first pick. I'm trying to think strategically here too. Because my next player has to have a last name that starts with the letter that <laughs> the previous player's name ends with. So, Yossi with an I... Huberdo with a U. Is there any, like, U's that I can maybe grab? I don't know if we've ever actually been successful with this draft. But I'm, I'm going to try today. The salary cap as well. Probably going to be an issue. But you know what? It is what it is. Marchand. A, mm, how many? I feel like there should be last names that start with D. But I just can't find any. Okay, we are... In a pickle already. Okay, I have a plan. I don't know if it's going to work, but I really hope he's still there. I'm taking... Yeah, okay. Please still be there. Please still be there. And... I don't... Uh, well, we're still up there in overall. He might be. I think he's gone. No way. I wanted ADB. Who took him? You are my new enemy throughout this season. Who took ADB? Unless he was there and I just missed him, but... Yeah, he's gone. The Boston Bruins. Classic. Okay, well... I guess that's what I get for taking Brad Marchand. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what we can find here. Goalies, none that I can really think of other than Demko, but should we take Demko? I mean, he is really good. He is really good. Yeah, let's do it. And then we have, oh, which Ovechkin would have been nice, but, you know, we'll find someone else, I suppose. All right, time to scroll down. If we somehow do okay with this draft, I'm going to be... Ecstatic. Timothy Jimothy is the first player I've come across. 84 overall. We are gonna reek. This is not gonna be good. Okay, so we have the letter E now, which isn't that bad. Ellis? Yeah, I'm just gonna... We gotta try and take any player we can get at this point. So now we're on to S. Okay, Shen would be nice as a first-line centerman. So I think uh, there's not even really much to debate. I think I should just take him. Yeah, Shen. And then I guess the letter N should be okay. We should find someone, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm just, you know, it's really hard to think of players, like, especially with the overall that's left off the top of your head. Uh, Nichushkin. And then we have N once more, which isn't bad. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and take him. 85 overall. How you doing? Let's go to goalies. Any... Goalies, ooh, Nadeljkovic would be decent. Is it Nadeljkovic or Nadeljkovic? Nadeljkovic sounds better because the other one sounds like too much going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of hoping it's Nadeljkovic. Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong, though. If we take him, we'd be on C. And I'm just going to look through here. Do we have any... Cop would be sick. Okay, okay, that's our game plan. I'm taking 
Ned, and then I'm really going to hope that Cop is still there. But it was a long gap between the two picks, so he's probably not going to be. He was down here. Okay, he might still be. No? Maybe? Kessel, Palat. Someone took him, didn't they? Who did it? Who's ruining my plan? Every time. I will find you. I'm going to find you. Where are you? Who took Cop? Come on. Someone. Someone did it. Own up to it. Ooh, he went in the seventh round. He went way before I would have gotten him. Okay. Byfield. He went, yeah, he went like real quick after. Wow. Awful idea on my part, apparently. That was just never going to work. But now we have the letter C anyway. Brandon Carlo is the first player I came across. And that concerns me because I feel like for the letter O, we might have trouble. So I think I'm actually going to go with Coil. Then we have an E, which might be a little bit better. Maybe. Maybe not, though. We already have two goalies, too. So we basically have to take players. Okay, the letter E. Come on. It's got to be somebody. Everly! Legend! Yep. That is our guy. So one thing that we should be worried about is that we currently have one defenseman. <laughs> not good. We have a really good goalie. So, you know, we got that going for us. But, yeah, we're back to E. And we really need defensemen. Drastically. So if we could get them, that would be splendid. Eller. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? Now we need someone with the letter R. Anybody, come on. Orlov would have been sick for the letter O. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Well anyway, yeah, we gotta find... Rodriguez, one million dollars, another centerman though. Radulov. Hmm. What about the letter V? Van Riemsdyk. I already said that Cap is a write-off. Then we'd be a K. We could take Keith if he's still there. So hold on. What was the strategy again? I think we're on R. No. Wait. Hold on. I need to go back to our previous traffic. I just, that whole thing just put me through a loop. I have no idea where we are anymore. What's my name again? Yeah, we took Eller. So we are in fact on R. And then, oh, it was not Rodriguez. It was Radulov. Yeah, yeah. He's got a bunch of abilities too. So he's probably good for the depth, you know? Why not? Pick him up. Let's hope Van Riemsdyk is still there. Because, you know, he would help. I mean, $7 million does not help. But we're going to do what we can here. And now we can take Keith. And then we have H. Now we should be able to find someone with H. Okay, I'll take Hall. He's only on $2 million. I'll try to keep the cap picks down as much as I can right now. But, yeah, this draft is, like, mostly a cap write-off. Because there's not, not a whole lot you can do. It's it's very picky with the players that you can take. So we have L, which is probably what we're going to take in the season. I could take Lee, but $7 million. Uh, no thank you. We do actually need left wingers too, so that would be huge. But no, I'll try to find someone else for now. We should be able to get someone. I don't think we'd have to scroll down too far. We did have to scroll down quite far. So we could take Blake... Okay, he looks all right. Or we could take Larson. And I am leaning towards Larson because we still have three defensemen. So, yeah, we're going to take him. And then we have N again. Who can we find for this? We need two more defensemen, three more forwards. We're good for goalies. So, you know what? We're actually cutting it kind of close. This might be okay. We might be able to stay within the cap. Or at least really close to it. We could take Nemeth, but then we have H again. Huh. It's not a bad option. In fact, it might be like one of our only options. O. Okay. So it's either an H or an O. And your player type is two-way forward. Let me scroll to the top and see what we have between H and O. Okay, I saw a bunch of H's, it feels like anyway. But who knows? Okay, wow, we had to go down pretty far. So we have Hoffman, 4.5 million though. So I don't know about all that. But it is something to consider. 
Uh, Hornkfist, 5.3 million power forward. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Expensive, but we might go a little over the cap. I've been saying that. In fact, I can't even believe we're as close as we are. So, yeah, I think Hornkfist is the way to go. So I'm going to take Namath, I believe it was. If I can find him again, it's probably going to take me a while. Okay, got him. So 2.5 million, and then, yeah, we're pretty much done for cap after these two picks alone. So we, we are going to go a little bit over, it seems like. But you know what? It's all right. And Hornkfist. There you go. Boom. 5.3 milli. So we now need one defenseman and two forwards, it looks like. What pick are we at? 18. So yeah. And we have $2 million. Nice. Hornkfist. So a T, right? Tomas Tata. No, I, I can't. I can't. The cap is too much. I really want to. Tanev as well would be... Splendid, but I'm trying my best here guys. I want to stay within the cap jumbo Joe Joe Thornton fourth line centerman, baby Yeah, let's do it. That is a very team friendly deal. I mean, he's definitely a little older, but We'll take what we can get at this point. So I need one defenseman one forward and What did Thornton so okay, okay, we can do this. This is doable Gotta probably scroll all the way down for players whose names start with the letter N again, but we should be okay. Okay, yep. At 850k, we get Matt Nieto, two-way forward. That is a nice player to find. And now we need a defenseman who with the letter O. So let's go to defenseman and try to find one that will hopefully be making league minimum because that's pretty much all we can afford at this point in time. Osterly, 1.3. We might have to. We'll see. Ulet. Oh, we don't. Okay. Ulet is the better option there in terms of cap. I don't even know if we can really get lower than that. I don't think you can. So I'm just going to take him and call it a win. Yeah, I think we, we did all right. Ulet. Xavier Ulet. Defensive defenseman. Sure. There you go. All right, the name chain draft is complete. Hopefully I didn't butcher it at any point. I mean, maybe I did, but hopefully not. We are going to need our goalie to step up big time. I mean, it is Thatcher Demko, so you might be up to the task, but holy crap. And then we got Ned backing him up, so that's pretty good. Offensively, we got Marchi, Shen, and Oshi, Radulov, Eller, Nachushkin, Coyle, JVR, Everly, Hornkfist, Thornton, and Nieto. And on defense, we've got Keith and Ellis. Hull, Ulet, Larson, and uh, Patty. So yeah, we definitely need Demko to be huge for us if we want to even get close to playoffs. I'm just going to double check, make sure injuries and stuff like that are off. I feel like I already did it, but it also feels like a year ago that I made these settings for some reason. Okay, yeah, so we're all good. I'm going to say that... You know what? Surprisingly, I'm going to say that TJ gets the most points. I'm going to say he gets a total of... 75 and somehow this team is going to make the playoffs i believe we can do this actually someone put that quote on one of my recent videos or at least recent as of when i'm recording this but i think that should just be known by now but in case anyone's just stumbling across just this video i have to sort of make that known but yeah i feel like this team is like I, i'm not looking for the best players craig i'm looking for the right ones and that that is darn true <laughs> that is what we did with this team and hopefully the boys rally. They're off to a very hot start here. So I appreciate the effort that these lads are putting in. Based on the roster we had, they are underdogs. For sure. But holy crap. I guarantee you it's Thatcher Demko. <laughs> that mad lad is the whole reason that we are having any success here to start the year. And we're falling off a cliff, it looks like. Incredible. Love it. Really hoping we could string together a few wins here. And try to pull away at least a little bit. There we go. Okay. Three, four in a row. Fire me up. And the Isles will put an end to that. But that's okay. Oh, uh, don't go on a losing streak though. Okay. That's a decent bounce back, I suppose. If you're going to lose, at least make it to overtime. Try to get the one point out of it. Milk every point that you can out of all these games if we're going to stand any chance. I mean, we're actually only fourth in division right now. The division seems kind of weak this year, so... It is possible that we squeak in somehow. Definitely don't rule it out. And I feel like I can't make trades with this draft. I mean, I want to, but 
Uh, I didn't even check the lineup, actually. I'm assuming we have all the players I drafted. Oh, Marshan, look at you go. Okay, well, change my mind. He's going to have the most points, but... Anyway, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, these are all the guys I drafted. I just wanted to double check. Namath, Larson, Hall, Ulet. Yeah, okay, I think we're okay. Just wanted to double check to make sure they didn't sub someone in by accidente. So, sim up again. We'll be jumping into the trade deadline real soon just to find out who's on the block. But, yeah, playoffs are definitely slipping here, it looks like, as the boys continue to lose. Keep the trading block. Enter the deadline, though. Show me the money. Uh, oh. Okay, Patrice Bergeron. Could grab him to play with Brad Marchand. No, I'm not doing that. Can't do it. Uh, there's really not a, a lot of crazy good players on the block here, so... Yeah, Bergeron is like the number one by far. And then Trocek, yeah. Well, anyway, let's carry on. Carolina gets a first, Kalen Addison, Forster, and a second in exchange for Bergeron, Tanev, and a third. Holy, that is a big trade. That really was a blockbuster trade. Okay, let's try to get some wins here. Dig deep, let the poise come out. Come on, nice. The playoffs are still... They're not out of the question, you know, if we string together several wins here to end the year, and if we get up to like 43 wins, then it's definitely within reach, but yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, especially when we go and do that. Okay, well, nice. Oh, we got an overtime loss. Nice. Come on. No. Oh my word. If we would have won one of those games, might have actually stood a chance. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Look at you go, Marchie. Yeah, if we won one of those games, man, I don't know what it goes down to after row, but we would have been, like, right there. That is devastating. What a weak division we had this year, though. That is embarrassing. But, yeah, anyway, uh, let's go to the entire league. The Anaheim Ducks are your President's Trophy winners. Let's see who they have on their team. Line A, McKinnon and Wheeler. Wow. Duchesne, Rodriguez, and Bjorkstrand. Rodriguez, the one who got away. Joseph, Paul, Dezingle. Okay, so, yeah, defensively, they got Slavin and Petrangelo. Barry, oh my word. Okay, they do have a good team. They have Ulmark and Comrie. Yeah, solid team for the Ducks, definitely. And, yeah, we can look at this quick. Let's see. So, Marchi put up 92, 74 from Oshi, 71 from Shen. JVR ended up putting 45, 44 from Eberly. Just scroll all the way to the bottom here to show you guys the whole team. Okay. And we definitely lacked defensively. That was our weak spot. Demko had a 904 still with a 295. Ned with a 925, 236. What a mad lad. Gonna check the entire league here. So Dreisaitl and Crosby both had 94 apiece. 43 goals from Dreisaitl, 49 from Matthews. And he had 93 points. Okay, so there you go. There's the top point getters for forwards let's check out the defenseman we have Kale McCarr yeah of course 74 guy is absolutely insane honestly I think he should be medium franchise high elite is not doing it justice uh, Roman Yossi with 68 Riley 68 D'Angelo 67 okay there we go so there's the defense leaders and goaltenders we have Jack Campbell with 42 dubs a 920 239 look at him go a 924 from Sergey, That is real good. Let's see who wins the playoffs. Will it be the Ducks or will they fall victim to the President's Trophy curse? I mean, they did have a real good team. So if they do win again, I wouldn't be that shocked, honestly. But uh, nope, they are not in the finals. It's the Yotes and the Montreal Canadiens. So let's sim up here. And the Arizona Coyotes with the Stanley Cup. Wow. I'm down. That's pretty cool. Let's check this out. So, yeah, we've already looked at all that, but we can check Arizona's roster real quick. Did they finish good in the league? Yeah, they finished fifth. Okay. And they have Dreisaitl, Sod, and Kachuk. Brady, that is. Kachurie, Yamamoto, and Coleman. Ennis, Middlestat, Zadina. Okay, they had Kakin in a net with um, DiPietro as the backup, who never sims well for me. They, uh, yeah, their team is... This is, again, the team. I'm not looking for the best players. I'm looking for the right ones. They found them, all right? Okay. They found enough of the right players to win the Stanley Cup. And let's look at the trophies here. 
Dry Settle with the Art Ross and the Heart. Of course, Kale McCarr gets the Norris. Matthews with the Lady Bing. Anyway, that didn't really affect anything because they didn't win the President's Trophy. And they did not win the Stanley Cup. So that's good. Anyway, uh, Dry Settle with the Con Smythe. Bobrovsky with the Vesna. Olmark with the Jennings. Latang gets the Masterton. Uh, Wanvik. The Jack Adams, O'Reilly, the Selkie, Dreisaitl, the Lindsay, and Rocker Richard goes to Matthews. Here is the playoff tree in the bottom right. In case I'm cutting it off, it is the Buffalo Sabres and the Tampa Bay Lightning. And it was seven games. Buffalo beat them four to three. So there you have it. That's the playoff tree. That was the name change draft. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you have any other draft ideas, let me know down below. I'll see you soon.